Today, I would like to talk about CDC sign-off flow with DFT logic. Here you can see the Dreamchip CDC verification flow. So we start here uh, the CDC tool, and then we get errors and warnings, which we debug. And uh, at the end of, the, of this loop, um, no error and no warning should be left. And then we do the sign-off, which is done by reviewing all of these waivers, which are done here by the module expert. After that, we do CDC analysis of RTL with DFT, and then we do a sign-off by reviewing the waivers by a DFT expert. This example is about an interface block, which has a FIFO inside, which uses a dual port RAM. So we have two clocks here, clock A and clock B. And here we see the already prepared DFT logic, which is tied to zero here. After DFT insertion, it looks like that. <clears throat> we have this additional DFT logic here that controls this clock max. So in the end for scan mode and for MBIS mode, we only need one clock here. And this is done by this uh, clock multiplexer. So in case we have scan enabled or MBIS en enabled, we only have one clock. And what we see here is that the old CDC path, which is from here, to there is kept and we get an additional path which is from here to there is added by DFT. So we did the CDC sign off flow with DFT logic in reality on two designs. So for the initial SOC we needed two weeks and for the derivative of course only two days. This is uh, not that much effort. Uh, we found with the CDC tools two um, uh, CDC issues, which could be fixed. One is a mix up in the synchronizer clock domain. And the other one was an enable of the clock gate, which was driven by non-registered non logic. And yeah, the CDC results on logic of uh, with DFT. There we found one issue, which was an CDC error in a DFT interface bridge. This was a quite tricky one. So in the end, um, a CDC analysis of DFT logic is possible, and we did it. And I showed you how we did that. Thank you.